Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get a vertical portrait orientation video using iMovie on your iPhone. For those of you that have been playing around with iMovie for some time, you've probably noticed that when you insert portrait video, you get black bars on either side of the video. And the reason for that is that iMovie is designed for the horizontal format, which is the aspect ratio of 16 by nine. So if any of your video footage falls outside of these parameters, whether it's a square video, whether it's a vertical portrait orientation, it deals with the footage by placing black bars on either side of the video clip. Now you can tap on the thumbnail of that video in the timeline, and then you'll see a magnify glass icon appear in the preview window screen. You can tap on that, and then you can pinch and zoom in and out of your footage in order to make it fill the full 16 by nine crop. But for most instances, when you're shooting in the portrait orientation vertically like that, it won't actually do the job because you'll be cropping out too much of the footage. So if it's a, a video portrait of yourself talking for TikTok or IGTV or whatever you're using it for, you wanna make sure that you pinch the footage to the point that you can see the full amount of video from top to bottom in the preview window. And you'll notice the black bars get even thicker, but that's fine, don't worry about it. We're gonna take care of that in the next section. There is no built-in feature in order to deal with vertical orientation video in iMovie, but there is a workaround. And if you have the latest version of iOS 13, then you're in luck because you can do it using the photo editor of iOS 13. So the procedure is to edit your video as you normally would in iMovie and just ignore the fact that you've got black bars to either side of the video. Export the video out as a 16 by nine widescreen video, whether it's 1080p or 4K, whichever resolution is fine. And then you'll see when you go to play it back in your camera roll, the video footage has the black bars. So the next step is to tap and edit the video tap on the crop tool in iOS 13, and you can use the crop tool in order to contract those edges left and right so that you completely get rid of those black bars. Or even better, we can get out of the free transform tool and go into one of the crop presets, which you can activate by tapping on the icon just near the top right hand corner. And we can go into a 16 by nine crop and then change the orientation from horizontal to vertical and that will give us the exact measurements for a nine by 16 crop, which is perfect for uploading into IGTV, TikTok, and any other social media platform that requires or prefers the vertical format of video. So that's how you can get vertical video using iMovie for iOS. There are other alternatives that have the ability to create the appropriate crop factor whilst you're in the edit mode. But given that so many people have used iMovie in the past and it's such a great comprehensive video editor that is really easy to use, if you wanna keep using iMovie and export vertical format videos, that's the complete workaround on how you can actually do it. So hopefully this video has been useful. And by the way, if you're wondering how I got this video to sound so good, I'm using the Record Lab lapel microphone, which connects directly to my iPhone using the lightning port, which is really convenient when it comes to recording videos. So if you wanna go that next level with your audio quality in your videos for TikTok or Instagram or even YouTube, you can pick up one of these Record Labs on our web store and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.